Chris, many congratulations. A seesaw game, you're behind, you're in front, your mismatch starts, you get over the line. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. I'm just relieved. Um, obviously, it was a hard one to take. Trying to pick my performance up from the first set, I was very, very poor and I was very disappointed. Um, so I just decided to stay on, on stage, find my foot, and uh, I think that worked the treat. Um, obviously, it's hard when you mismatch darts and he goes out to, um, to take, take it to the side and you think, you know, why, why me? Why did it always happen to me? But like I said, I never give up and fight till the end, till the end and manage to get there. At Blackpool, your words, you bottled it. You must be over the moon with the character that you've shown up there tonight to mismatch starts, but then still produce it in that deciding leg. 100%. Um, yeah, I, I, I've been, I've bottled it. Uh, nobody should throw away leads like I did in the match play, and, and that goes for anybody. When, you, when you're that comfortable in front, um, it was my fault. I went off the stage, I should have stayed on the stage. Um, only needed two legs to close the game out. And, it was my own fault. I went home, put the work in, um, practiced hard for the following weeks Pro to us. We just semi quarter in the last 16, so yeah, put it right straight away. Didn't dwell on it too much uh, like I have done in the past. And I think my games, I'm, I'm due another good game after that, that poor performance tonight. Into the quarterfinals now. Closing in again on that top 16 after the slip, almost back into the, the top 24. Are you looking at things like that for like the Masters towards the start of 2023 and things like that? Um, yeah, I've got my sights on the Masters for next year. Um, I haven't quite got my sights on the, the top 16 just at the minute, um, but if I have a good bat end of the year and then take it into the world, so there's no reason why I can't push into that top 16. But yeah, like I said, I've got my sights on the, the Masters for the start of the year, and because I missed out this year, I was, I was a bit gutted. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my sights. We've seen you rise on the TV stage and obviously you had the blip, now you're on the way back up. Do you feel this is now the real you and we're seeing a sustained period of your good darts now? Yeah, of course. I, I, I need to start dedicating myself a little bit more like I did a few years back. Um, when I was getting the latter stages of competitions, I was practicing more and more. And um, having, having the little one, trying to spend time with the little one, trying to practice, play local league and stuff as well. It's, it's, it's kind of hard, but this is my job at the end of the day, and I need to dedicate myself, whether that means locking the little one away for a, for a few hours to, to put that practice in. But uh, I'll definitely be doing that 100% for the, the back end of the end. I'm sure you'll see an improvement. Touch, touching on what you said there, when do you kind of realise that, hang on a minute, I haven't been dedicated enough, and what's the switch that makes you make that change? Well, it's, it's just... My dad nagging us really. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I, I know fine well where my game is at now. It's nowhere near where it was 12 months ago. You've seen this averages I was producing on, on the floor, on stage. Um, I was probably averaging, what, I was probably the top five of the, everybody in the, on the Pro Tour. Um, and it's just been nowhere like, nowhere near that this year. And like I say, I'm, I'm going to put that right. I, I know I can get there and I just need to put that extra few hours in back home and I'll certainly do that. Chris, congratulations. Cheers. Chris, we saw the emotion at the end there. How big a win is this for you? Because a good one in one of these majors can change your season, can't it? Yeah, of course, um, because it's like it's like a freebie for me because I was defending, I think, first round now, so the more I go, the better it is for me, so that it takes a bit of pressure off myself. But um, yeah, I, I held my nerve well there, um, global 100. But, as long as the first start was in the, all I wanted was the first start to land in the treble 20 to give us at least one or two darts at the tops. But um, I'm just so, so over the moon to, to get over that one. Was there any element of doubt in your mind after the previous leg with those mismatched darts? No, there's never never doubt. As long as I got away, that was, that was my doubt. If, if I didn't get away, that was it. I, I was gone. But I got away first start and got away with a 146, which, which helped massively. And there's 100% for sure. Uh, Aidan Lewis is on his way back up as well. Fantastic. He won 160s, 120s for fun then. Obviously, not in the Grand Prix, but in the other ones, they're going to be 180s for sure. And the only way is up for him again. Michael Van Gogh and off Stephen Bunting up next. Michael obviously did for you in the semi finals 2019. Would you fancy another crack at Michael if he comes soon? 100%. Why not? I'm still yet to beat him. I think this is how many times I've played him? <laughs> About nine, ten times, and yet to beat him. Uh, so. Why, why can't this be the, the time? Cheers, Chris. Thank you. Cheers.
touching on what you said there, Chris, do you feel still feel there's some fragility in Michael's game at the moment, or do you think he's back to his best? I think he's coming back, um, for sure. Uh, he's just he's not as consistent as he once was, and you know what I mean? He, 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 what he's won in the past, how can he be that consistent all the time? It's, it's never going to happen. Mm. He's that good of a player. He, he's won so many competitions. He cannot keep it up. So there's no doubt in him, he's definitely still up there. I, I still put him in the best player in the world, um, without a doubt. But when, when his air game, it's, it's another level to, to the rest, and you, you've seen it in the past. But like I say, I feel confident uh, to beat him if, if I can bring my air game. So fingers crossed, the best man wins. Uh, might not be Michael, so mm-hmm. fingers crossed whoever comes through that, I'll, I'll bring my best game against him. Yeah, that's all. Cheers, Thank Chris.